the Kraft Foods Company, makers of Kraft Quality Foods, presents Harold Perry as the Great Gildersleeve. Good to eat. Well, tastes may vary, but here's something every taste applauds. Pabstet, pasteurized processed cheese food, either golden or pimento. For Pabstet is the cheese food with the real cheddar flavor. You can get golden or pimento Pabstet in the round, handy size package, or for economy, and to be sure you'll always have plenty on hand, you can also get it in the money saving two pound loaf. In any package, it's delicious. Get Pabstet. Remember Pab Step at your dealers tomorrow. Well, at this hour, nearly everybody in Summerfield is sound asleep. But the great Gildersleeve believes in keeping both eyes open because tonight the moon is full, and so is the front seat of his old Studebaker. <laughs> Comfy, Catherine? Oh, yes, very. But you've passed my house, Rockmorton. No. <laughs> it's almost midnight, you know. Well, I'll just take one turn around the block. I think I'll go this way. The other way is shorter. Yep. <laughs> You're just wasting gasoline. No, I'm not. This way, all the corners are right turns. That makes you slide closer to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Morton, you're a pixie. Yeah. Here's the last corner. Oh! oh I'm slipping. <laughs> <laughs> These nylon seat covers are wonderful. <laughs> Here's my house again. Don't you think we'd better stop? Well, all right. Rock Morton, what's this on the floor of the car? What? Oh, well, that's a canteen. It has water in it from the reservoir. Water? Yeah, got a great idea. I'll tell you about it later. Oh. Well, it's been a lovely evening. Thanks for the movie. Um, wait a minute, Catherine. The evening is young. Let's turn on the radio and listen to some dance music, huh? Well... For just a minute. Sure. I want to talk to you about tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Mm-hmm. There's a big March of Dimes dance at the Armory. I've got two tickets. One for you and one for me. Well, that was thoughtful of you, Throckmorton. But wouldn't you just as soon see another movie tomorrow night? Another movie? Catherine, why is it you never want to go dancing with me? In all the time I've known you, we've only been dancing once. Well... Wouldn't you like to trip the light fantastic, the Irving Hotstetter and his Hepcats? I don't know. I may be a little tired. Oh, my goodness. This concludes our program of Midnight Moods and Melodies. <laughs> Station WSUM now leaves the air. Uh, uh, good night, sweetheart. <laughs> good night, sweetheart. <laughs> That's WSUM sign-off. It's my sign-off, too. Uh, don't go yet. Good night. Sweetheart, sleep will banish sorrow, tears and parting may make us forlorn, but with the dawn, a new day is born, so I'll say good night, sweetheart. Though I'm not beside you, oh yeah, good night, sweetheart, still my love will guide you, dreams enfold you, in my arms I'll hold you, good night, sweetheart. Yes, Rockmorton. Good night. Good night. Hey, I didn't say good night. 
That was that radio announcer. Throckmorton, I have to go in. But what about going to the dance? Well, if you're sure you want to try dancing again. Do I? I wonder what she means by that. kitchen. Wonder if Leroy is walking in his sleep again. Whenever he does, he walks straight to the icebox. Is that you, Uncle Mark? Oh, Marjorie. Yes, my dear, I'm home. Uh, join me in a glass of milk? Well, Catherine and I had a hamburger down at Barney's Beanery. <laughs> Without onions, I suppose. Yeah, might as well have had mine with. <laughs> Over chicken in the icebox. Chicken, there is. Well, some white meat, wishbone, and some cheese, and salami. You're going to dream again, Anki. Well, I usually dream anyway. I may as well make it exciting. <laughs> well, dill pickles. Say, that looks good, Anki. Mm. I think I'll have a bite. Huh? You know, I'm hungry. Bronco and I were dancing in the parlor tonight. Oh? Well, I'm saving my dancing for tomorrow night at the armory. With Miss Milford, naturally. Yeah, finally talked her into it. What was the matter? Didn't she want to go? Well, we went dancing once. Ever since then, when I ask her, she's tired. I guess she's working pretty hard. <laughs> oh. Must be. You know how girls love to dance, and especially with me. I've always been very light on my feet. Pass the salami, please. <laughs> You know, Anki, I bet I know why she doesn't like to go dancing with you. Why? How many new dances have you learned in the last 20 years? Well, I tried the Big Apple, but by the time I learned it, nobody was doing it anymore. <laughs> oh, Anki, I'm afraid you're getting old-fashioned. Old-fashioned? Me? When you're on the dance floor, what do you do when they play a samba? I sit down. <laughs> I'm used to dancing to real music. Not a bunch of fellows moaning and shaking rattles. Witch doctors. But that happens to be the vogue. I'll bet that young intern, Miss Milford, goes with consamba and rumba, too. Oh, well, so could I if I wanted to. I could learn those silly dances overnight. And I may just do it. Well, it could make all the difference in the world to a modern young woman like Miss Milford. Well, she's not too modern for me to keep up with. And by George, I'll show her. Well, good for you, Anki. You bet. Pass the pickles, please. Uncle Mort, if you eat another pickle, you'll be dancing in your dreams. What do I care? Maybe Arthur Murray will show up and teach me the samba. <laughs> most of the morning to round up this stuff, but nobody's going to say Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve is old-fashioned. See if I have everything. How to Samba in One Easy Lesson, an album of records by Jose Pepito and his six chili peppers. <laughs> hey, before I go home, I think I'll phone Catherine and tell her to be prepared for a big surprise. If I can get into this phone booth with all this equipment. <laughs> 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 Take it to Katie, beautiful Katie. You're the only g -g -g girl that I adore. Hello. Hello, Catherine. Throckmorton. Hello, Throckmorton. Are you all set for the dance tonight? I suppose so. Well, you don't sound very enthusiastic, but I think I've figured out why. Well... I guarantee you'll have a good time tonight, Catherine. I'm working out a little surprise for you. Surprise? What is it? Well, it doesn't pay to tell little girls everything. But you'll know tonight. Oh, I can hardly wait. I love surprises. Well, ta-ta until tonight. Bye. <sighs> I like women. <laughs> Try 
try first, Donkey. Well, Marjorie, I thought I'd do the samba. That sounds simple. All right. We'll play Brazil. Leroy, when you finish rolling up that rug, you may go. Are you kidding? I wouldn't miss this for anything. <laughs> Anki, why don't we just walk through the steps before we put on the record? Walk? Well, if you think that's necessary, I learn pretty fast, you know. Let's see what the instructions say. Start in the regular foxtrot closed position. Hmm. Stumped already, huh, Ank? <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on, Marjorie. Well, we begin like this, Anki. I see. I'll hold the instruction books in my left hand here. Now, let's see. The samba is an easy rocking step, a graceful swaying movement. That's right. You start with your left foot, like this. Oh, yeah. Take one step forward. Weight forward. Bending knee twice. <laughs> <laughs> How am I doing, Leroy? Oh, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'd better put on the record so you'll get the rhythm of the music. Yeah, I'll pick it up in a minute once I hear the music. Hey, it says here in the book, from the steaming tropics of Brazil comes the samba. All right, Leroy. A pulsing rhythm done with gay abandon, originally danced by the natives of Brazil in the coffee bushes. Yep. <laughs> you can cut out the travelogue, Burton Holmes. Just read the instructions. <laughs> okay. Just the simple one, two, one, two rhythm, Unc. Oh? Probably something like boxing. Yeah, I doubt that. Now, come on, Unc, and remember, when your feet go forward, your body sways backwards. You mean my feet go in one direction, my body in another? That's right. It's a rocking motion. Uh, well, here goes. Feet go forward, body sways back. Oop, almost swayed too far back. What's the matter, Unc? You getting seasick? Leroy. Come on, Unc, bend your knees. Bounce. Oh, yeah, bounce. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Swing the left shoulder forward with the left foot. Right shoulder, right foot. Left shoulder, left foot. Right shoulder, right foot. One and two and three and four and bounce! Up, bounce! I'm trying to bounce. Left shoulder, right foot, right foot, left. That's impossible. Yeah, you look like a pretzel, huh? <laughs> I can't get it. Stop the music, Marjorie. Uh, I'd better sit down. All right, Anki, take a breath. Pepito and his chili peppers are red hot. What's going on out here? Uh, hello, Bertie. Oh, didn't know you was home, Miss Gilsey. I've just invented a new dance step. Unky's learning the samba, Bertie. Him? <laughs> well, it's a little more complicated than I thought, Bertie. I bet I can do it. Come on, Marge. All right, but I better lead you, Leroy. Heck no, I'll lead myself. Bum, 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 Leroy, you got it. Look at that bar of rock. <laughs> uh, little Leroy can do it even with those feet. You'll get it in time, Miss Gilsley. Yeah, but I have to get it by tonight. It ain't hard. The main thing you have to do is shift gears fast. <laughs> yeah. Well, excuse me, I got to get lunch. Choo, 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 choo. <laughs> I'm the only green chili pepper in the house. The Great Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. Here's a menu suggestion for a quick Sunday night supper that'll really click with your family or guests. Cheese rarebit pabstet with sliced ripe olives. Just melt a round package of Pabstet pasteurized processed cheese food, either golden or pimento, in a double boiler. Pour it over crisp toast slices and garnish each serving with sliced ripe olive rings. Mmm, mmm, you've got something there that looks as delicious as it tastes. And it tastes delicious. A wonderful thing about Pabstet is its variety of uses. Spreads like butter at room temperature for sandwiches and cracker snacks. Cuts into firm wedges when chilled for salads and cheese plates. Melt smoothly into a tempting sauce for all sorts of uses. And any way you use it, it's deliciously different. For Pabstet is the pasteurized processed cheese food with that mild yet satisfying flavor. Its rich, pleasing taste comes from genuine AIDS cheddar cheese of real distinction. So next time you shop, get the cheese food with the real cheddar flavor. 
Get Pabstet in the round package. Or better yet, save by buying the economical two-pound loaf. In any package, it's delicious. Well, let's get back to the great Gildersleeve. He has a date to take Katie Milford dancing tonight, and not wishing to be considered an old-fashioned dancer, he's trying to learn the samba. Uh, how's he doing? Well, he isn't doing the samba. Uh, uh, and I promised Catherine I'd surprise her. Just can't understand it. I did everything the lesson said. Something's wrong, but I don't see how it can be me. Must be the lesson. I think I'll try it here on the sidewalk. One and two, three and four... One and two and... Uh, oh, hello, Mrs. Pettibone. <laughs> Just playing hopscotch. <laughs> Gee, she probably never saw a man samba before. Old-fashioned biddy. Funny I can't get the hang of that step. One and two and three and... <laughs> Slipped. <laughs> Sidewalk's icy. Say, I almost did it, though. My feet went forward, my body went backward. How did I do that? I can just remember to slip in the right spot. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and... <laughs> Why, George, I've got it. I've learned the samba. One and two and three and four and... Oh. Zeef. Hard sidewalk. <laughs> well, anyway, I've got it. I gotta show this to Peavy. Choo choo choo, choo choo choo, choo choo choo. Hello, Peavy. Oh, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. <laughs> what can I do for you today? Peavy, guess what I'm doing? Choo choo choo, choo choo choo, choo choo choo, choo choo choo. Playing train? <laughs> no, Peavy, I'm doing the samba. How's oh, yeah. that? Look, Peavy, I'm dancing. Choo, 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 choo. My, my. <laughs> May I ask a question, Mr. Gildersleeve? What is it, Peavy? Who are you dancing with? Yep. <laughs> I'm going to be dancing with Catherine. That's why I learned it, Peavy. These days, a man can't relax just because he knows how to waltz in one step. Why not? Well, because they'll think you're old-fashioned, Peavy. Come out from behind that counter, and I'll teach you how to samba. Me? Yeah. Come on, I'll teach you the step in two minutes. Oh, Mr. Gildersleeve, what would my customers say? Well, is nobody in the store? Well, if you and I started dancing, there soon would be. <laughs> All right, Peavy, if you want to be an old fuddy-duddy. Mr. Gildersleeve, I'm no fuddy-duddy. Yeah? I considered learning the Charleston once. You did? I'm here to tell you. Then I said to myself, how often did the fellow get to Charleston? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was a little witticism, Mr. Gildersleeve. Charleston is the name of a city, and also the I name of... know, Peavy. Oh. Are you going to display that new step at the March of Dimes dance tonight, Mr. Gildersleeve? You bet. You going to be there, Peavy? Yes, I'm taking Mrs. Peavy. Great, you'll have a wonderful time. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Mrs. Peavy and I may be a little rusty. We haven't been out dancing since Coolidge was president. Yep. You don't dance much, do you, Peavy? Well, no, but I consider this a worthy cause, and I'm willing to make the sacrifice. You call it a sacrifice, giving four dollars to the March of Dimes? No, taking Mrs. Peavy dancing. <laughs> well, I'll see you at the dance, Peavy. Choo, 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 choo. nice and close tonight. Face feels like suede. Better trim my mustache a little. Want to look smooth tonight, Gildersleeve. Uh, 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 uh. There. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the handsomest of them all? Oh, for corn's sake! <laughs> Leroy, what are you doing in here? Just watch him. I thought I told you to get my black Homburg and brush it. I was going to, but you hypnotized me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that boy. 
Well, the old blue serge looks pretty good. I wonder if I should wear a tight black sash and leave my shirt open the way those dancers do in the movies. No. Just because I can do the samba, I don't want to go overboard. Hmm. These Brazilian cigarettes taste pretty good. Here's your hat, Unc. Uh, thanks, my boy. Well, almost time to go for Catherine. wonder if I can samba downstairs. Choo, choo, choo. Choo, choo, choo. You better watch choo, it, Unc. Choo. Heck, I can do this on ice. Choo, choo, choo. Choo, Auntie, choo, choo. You look gorgeous. Oh, thank you, my dear. May I have the pleasure of this dance, senorita? Oh, delighted, senor Unky. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Why, Unky, one and you've two got and it. three and four. <laughs> choo, choo, choo. Gosh, Unky, I didn't think you had it in you. Hey, Purdy! Come back, Colonel Purdy. Get one of Unky's murder in the samba. Ain't that something? <laughs> well, that's all, Marjorie. Better save my wind. Oh, isn't he wonderful, Bertie? Yes, ma'am. He's going to make a hit with Miss Milford tonight. I better after all the trouble I've gone to. Yes, yeah, sir, you're going to be bell of the ball. Now, Bertie. All Miss Milford's got to do is close her eyes and she'll think she's dancing with Fred Astaire. <laughs> Fred Astaire. Well, I'm a little more muscular than Fred is. <laughs> I'll say. All Miss Milford has to do is close her eyes and she'll think she's dancing with Fred Astaire. All right, Bertie. Miss Gillsleeve, you know who she'll think she's dancing with when she closes her eyes? Yes, Bertie. That's right. She'll think she's dancing with Fred Astaire. <laughs> you know, Bertie's wrong about that. I'm not like Fred Astaire. I'm more the Rudolph Valentino type. Yeah. What a character. Yeah. <laughs> This must be the first dance. Yeah. Uh, suppose we sit this one out, Catherine, huh? Floor is pretty crowded. But Throckmorton, you were in such a terrible rush to get here. I thought you wanted to dance. Well, sure, but who wants to dance to an old-fashioned waltz? Don't you? Well, I should say not. Maybe all right for Peavy and Judge Hooker, but not for me. I like dancing with some bounce. Something with some zing in it. Zing? Mm hmm You've only danced with me once, Catherine. It wasn't a fair sample. I had to follow the music. If the band plays a foxtrot, you have to trot. You know that. Oh, yes, of course. I'm just as modern as anybody. Maybe even more so. My George, I have no sympathy whatsoever for a person who doesn't keep up with the times. Especially in dancing. Throckmorton, you surprise me. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. Just wait. Yeah. Yeah. At last, that's over. Now maybe they'll play something that up-to-date people can dance to. Hi, it's awfully warm in here. Well, we can't go outside now, Catherine. I told you I had a big surprise for you. Well, uh, couldn't you tell me about it in the car? We, we could drive someplace. Well, Catherine, and... I can't tell you about it. If that hotsteader and his tired hepcats would just play some decent music. Wait here, Catherine. I'm going over and have a talk with Irving Hotsteader. Excuse me. Be right back. Don't go away. Pardon me. Howdy, Commissioner. Oh, hello, Uncle Charlie. Coming through. Waltzers. Excuse me. Why does everybody crowd up in front of the bandstand like a bunch of sheep? Oh, there's Peavy and Mrs. Peavy. Excuse me, Peavy. Well, Mr. Gildersleeve, cutting in for the next dance? Yeah, yeah. No, Peavy, just passing by. <laughs> Boy, that was close. <laughs> uh, Mr. Hotstetter. Uh, hey, Hotstetter. Yeah? Yeah. I'm Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve, uh, City Water Commissioner. Oh, glad to know you, Commissioner. I'll bet you want us to play a number for you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what'll it be, uh, cool water? <laughs> 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 no, no, no. How about forgetting these waltzes and playing a hot samba, huh? Well, we hadn't programmed any sambas this evening. You see, this isn't a samba crowd. But you got to play one. Look, Irving, confidentially, I've spent all day learning the samba for that pretty girl over there. Uh, yeah, she is pretty. Watch it, Irving, watch it. <laughs> How about playing a samba? Sorry, Commissioner, but we don't have our samba music out. Here, Hotstetter, here's five dollars. Five dollars? Commissioner, the boys were just about to play a samba. Yeah. <laughs> make it Brazil, and don't start till I give you the signal. Pardon me. Coming through. Excuse me. Catherine? Yes, Rockmorton. Uh, now we can dance. Well, 
I was beginning to wonder what happened to you. Had to get the right kind of music. This is the big surprise. You have to have music for it? Oh, certainly. <laughs> come on out on the porch, Catherine, away from the crowd, huh? I don't think we'd better. Oh, come on. Those potted palms will make a nice background. Real tropical stuff, like coffee bushes. <laughs> but, uh, Throckmorton, yeah. I... Yeah, this is better. Away from all those old fuddy-duddies. <sighs> Who are you waving to? Huh? Yeah, I'm just Irving. <laughs> he waved back. Now comes the surprise. <laughs> Well? Just a second. Come on, Irving. <laughs> Here we go, Catherine. Surprise. Choo, 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 uh, choo, I... choo, 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 Ouch! Zeke right on her foot. Oh, God, Martin. What are you doing? That's the samba, Catherine. That was the surprise. Oh. What's the matter? I have a surprise for you. Oh? I don't know how to samba. <laughs> Just an old fuddy-duddy. Catherine, not you. Yes. Now you know the awful truth, Rockmorton. Now you know why I haven't wanted to go to dances. I can't do these new steps. Really? Is that good? <sighs> Come on, Catherine. Where are we going? Back to Hostetter. South America's going to hate us, but we're going to trade Brazil for $5 worth of waltzes. Yeah. <laughs> The Great Gildersleeve will be back very shortly with something you'll want to hear. For hearty sandwiches, for regular meals, for company menus, here's something that has a place in every well-furnished refrigerator. Pabstet, that deliciously different pasteurized processed cheese food with the real cheddar flavor. You can get Pabstet in handy-sized round packages, golden for cheddar flavor and red for pimento. Or save money by buying the economical two-pound loaf. Whatever package you choose, you get the same delicious flavor and rich food value. Tomorrow, get Pabstet. Remember Pabstet, the pasteurized processed cheese food with that real cheddar flavor. Oh, that kiss in the dark was it to me just Catherine. Both hands on the wheel, Throckmorton. Uh, wish this car was run by radar. <laughs> we could park for a few minutes in front of the post office, Catherine. Watch the moon come up over the city hall. No. Just for a minute? No. Half a minute? Uh, Throckmorton, y you were going to tell me about this canteen on the floor of the car. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the canteen. Well, there's an ounce of water in that from the Summerfield Reservoir. I'm going to send it to New York City. From the water commissioner of Summerfield to the water commissioner of New York. Quite an idea, don't you think? An ounce of water? Well, it's just a reminder to the people of New York about the water shortage. It's going by plane. And in every city where it stops, the local water commissioner will add an ounce of that city's water. There'll be Phoenix, Arizona, Salt Lake City, Denver, Omaha, Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Detroit, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Washington, and Philadelphia. It'll be delivered to Mr. Stephen... Jay Carney, Water Commissioner of New York on February 22nd. Well, I think that's a very nice idea. Remind people there to save water. You bet. It's something for everybody to think about. Of course, the people in Summerfield have nothing to worry about as long as I'm the Water Commissioner. Rockmorton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rockmorton. Huh? What's wrong with the car? The car? It's steaming. Zeke. It's out of water. <laughs> What about the canteen? The canteen? No, sir. New York needs that more than we do. Guess we'll just have to sit here till it cools off. Or it rains. <laughs> or the moon comes up over the city hall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What suits your taste? Mustard that's mild, delicately spiced, or sharp, snappy mustard with zing in every bite. Either way, you like craft prepared mustard. For there are two kinds. Salad mustard, tangy but gentle, and craft prepared mustard with snappy horseradish added. Have both on hand for different tastes, different uses. Either works magic in bringing out hidden flavor. For when you add a little mustard, you add a lot of tang. Get craft prepared mustard. <laughs> Break the bank. 
Radio's biggest money-paying show is next.